This video is about the value of sine and cosine. This is AP Precalculus Topic 3.3. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. To answer these questions, I'm going to use a diagram of the unit circle. The unit circle is just a circle with a radius of 1. Every quadrant has a measure of pi over 2 radians. So I know that 3 pi over 2 is a multiple of that. So this is 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Because this is a unit circle, I can easily find the coordinates of this point. This is the point 0, comma, negative 1. It's to the right nothing because it's right on the y-axis, and it is down 1 because that's the radius. So 0, comma, negative 1. We have learned that the cosine of an angle is the x value divided by the radius, and the sine of an angle is the y value divided by the radius. However, on the unit circle, the radius is 1. So on the unit circle, cosine is x over 1, and sine is y over 1. But we don't need to write the 1. On the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate, and sine is the y-coordinate. So the sine of 3 pi over 2 will simply be the y value, which is negative 1. So that's the answer to number 1. When you have an angle that is not a multiple of pi over 2, you can evaluate based on the values on this chart. So I need you to memorize these nine values. If you have not already done so, pause the video and study these. You should be able to write this chart on a piece of scratch paper from memory. Do that uh, before starting your next test or quiz. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to assume that you have this chart memorized. 7 pi over 4 is a multiple of pi over 4. So the cosine of 7 pi over 4 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 4, which is radical 2 over 2. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We have memorized that this is pi radians. Because of the denominator of 4, we can think of this as 4 pi over 4. What we normally think of as 2 pi radians all the way around, we can think of as 8 pi over 4. Therefore, 7 pi over 4 will be one multiple before 8 pi over 4, putting it in the fourth quadrant. On the unit circle, cosine is the x value, and x values are positive in the fourth quadrant. So we will leave the answer as positive radical 2 over 2. By the way, radical 2 over 2 is equivalent to 1 over radical 2. You will see both of these on multiple choice questions, so be comfortable with either one. I will use them interchangeably. For number 3, the sine of 5 pi over 6 will be the same as the sine of pi over 6, which is 1 half, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We know that pi is right here, but we can think of it as 6 pi over 6. Therefore, 5 pi over 6 will be one multiple before 6 pi over 6, putting it in the second quadrant. On the unit circle, sine is the y value, and y values are positive in the second quadrant. So we will leave the answer as positive 1 half. For number 4, the cosine of pi over 3 is right here on the chart. So there's no work to do. The answer is simply 1 half. Number 5, pi is right here. And this is a multiple of pi over 2. So we can use coordinates instead of using the values on this chart. On the unit circle, the coordinates of this point will be negative 1, comma, 0. And on the unit circle, cosine is the x value, and the x coordinate is negative 1. So the cosine of pi is negative 1. For number 6, the cosine of 7 pi over 6 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 6, which is radical 3 over 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We know that pi is right here, but looking at the 6, we can think of this as 6 pi over 6. Therefore, 7 pi over 6 will be one multiple past 6 pi over 6, placing it in the third quadrant. 
On the unit circle, cosine is the x value, and x values are negative in the third quadrant. We are to the left of the y-axis. So the answer is negative radical 3 over 2. We have memorized that 2 pi is one full turn around the unit circle. So it's right here. It is a multiple of pi over 2. We don't need the chart. We need coordinates instead. On the unit circle, the coordinates of this point will be 1, comma, 0. Because of uh, the radius is 1, so it's 1 to the right and up nothing. On the unit circle, sine is the y value. The y value is 0, so the sine of 2 pi is 0. For number 8, we have the cosine of pi over 2. And pi over 2 is right here at the top of the unit circle. Every quadrant is pi over 2 radians. So we are going to use coordinates instead of the chart. The coordinates here are 0, 1. On the unit circle, cosine is the x value. So the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. No work to do for number 9. This is a memorized value. The sine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2, or we can put 1 over radical 2. I'm going to use 1 over radical 2 this time just to mix it up. Number 10, the sine of 5 pi over 4 will be the same as the sine of pi over 4, which is radical 2 over 2. Except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. We can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4 will be one multiple past that in the third quadrant. On the unit circle, sine is the y value, and y values are negative in the third quadrant. So the answer will be negative radical 2 over 2. Cosine of 0. Well, 0 is right here. It's the very beginning. So we will definitely use coordinates. This is the point 1 comma 0. And on the unit circle, cosine is just the x value. So in this case, the cosine will equal 1. Number 12, the sine of 4 pi over 3 will be the same as the sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2, except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Here's pi, which we can think of as 3 pi over 3. Therefore, 4 pi over 3 will be one multiple past that. That's in the third quadrant. And on the unit circle, sine is the y value, and y values are negative in the third quadrant. So the sine of 4 pi over 3 will equal negative radical 3 over 2. The sine of 5 pi over 3 will be the same as the sine of pi over 3, which is radical 3 over 2 except it might be negative depending on the quadrant. Here's pi, which we can think of as 3 pi over 3. Here is 2 pi, which we can think of as 6 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3 will be one multiple before 6 pi over 3. That puts it right here in the fourth quadrant. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, and y values are negative in the fourth quadrant. Therefore, the answer is negative radical 3 over 2. The cosine of 2 pi over 3 will be the same as the cosine of pi over 3, which is 1 half. Except it might be negative, depending on the quadrant. Here's pi, which we can think of as 3 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 will be 1 multiple before 3 pi over 3. That's in the second quadrant. On the unit circle, cosine is the x value, and x values are negative in the second quadrant. So the answer will be negative one-half. No work to do for number 15. The sine of pi over 6 is right on the chart. It is one-half. By the way, I keep referring to the chart and drawing these little diagrams for instructional purposes. But the goal is to get so comfortable with this information that you can do it all in your head without actually needing to write down the chart or draw a diagram. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link 
which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.